what's up guys today we're going over the no reprieve you need to be crafting as soon as possible this is the highest dps weapon in the game maybe outside of a few like random combos but for a special weapon it is absolutely insane so in this video we're going to be going over exactly the role you want to be crafting and breaking down its dps compared to some other specials in the game and just showing off how good this scene is and this is the seasonal slug shotgun so you can farm it through the seasonal loop and good luck getting five red boxes. I got really lucky to be honest, but once you get five, you'll unlock the pattern and be able to fully craft it. And you can get the same roll on the craft without enhanced perks. But this weapon actually has a perk on it that gets kind of greatly improved by it being enhanced. So it's been kind of important to be able to craft it with that perk. So once you get all five of your red borders, you simply just craft the weapon and start to upgrade it. And I upgraded mine in Shro Chi which is what I still do because it's the easiest to get the CP by yourself with the Witch Wall. But I've heard the Golgroth encounter is even better for farming XP. So if you have that CP or you do the raid, try to hold it. And that's gonna be a good way to upgrade your weapons for red boxes and things like this. And if we look at the perks on this weapon, there are a lot of really interesting perks. For example, Pugilist like plus Swash or even Headstone because it's a stasis weapon. But the one we're gonna be looking at is gonna be triple tap and left then surrounded in the right. So going over the shotgun I crafted once I had it fully leveled, the first thing is I have a reload speed mass work. You could use a ranged one. I think the reload speed is pretty handy though. Then for barrel, I'm not sure which one's best. If you have like some information on which one is the best for PVE, definitely comment down below. I just use this one right here because it didn't really hurt its range or handling. And I'm gonna start off with a pin and mag, but later in the video, I'll be comparing it to assault mag. And we have triple tap and left and i'm not going to be using the enhanced one because the enhanced one all it does is give you more time to actually proc the triple tap which i don't think is really that useful so i'm gonna go ahead and save my currency but you definitely need enhanced surrounded because it's one of the only damage perks that will actually get a damage increase from the enhanced version so first on this weapon with triple tap with the seven mag that means you'll be able to proc triple tap three times if you hit all of your crits which means you're gonna have to reload way less often and it's gonna be three free bullets from thin air per mag, greatly increasing your total damage output with the weapon. So not only should it help DPS by making it so you don't have to reload, but also helping total damage. Then in the right, we have enhanced surrounded. And to show off how this all works, first we're gonna start off with just regular surrounded and no spec on the weapon. So looking at damage of that on Carl, once you're surrounded by three or more enemies, the damage will be 52,204. Now, if we go ahead and put on a surrounded spec, which will do two things for us. One, increase the damage of surrounded, and two, make it easier to actually have the perk up. So when you're surrounded and let's say enemy runs away, you would still have the surrounded for a few seconds before it goes away. So now with that, it goes up to 56.2 thousand, which means surrounded spec is a 7.7% .7 increase. So the same as like a minor, major, or boss spec, but this will work for all three and give us the extended surrounded time. And now if we put on the one with enhanced surrounded plus the spec once again, it will go even higher now hitting for 59,030 damage so the enhanced is another five percent increase compared to the base perk for our total compared to the base damage of 47 percent and nearly 60,000 damage per shot is a lot from a special weapon so a shotgun has a really really crazy roll so let's start breaking down what numbers this thing can pump out so first looking at the dps so for this video i'm going to be doing one mag and two mag and just do seven shots plus seven shots because shooting off 10 plus 10 with triple tap would not alter the actual DPS numbers. The DPS is gonna be affected by how much you have to reload and no matter how many you shoot per mag, that's gonna stay the same. So just for the purpose of the numbers, two mags was almost 14 seconds. So DPS over one is 75.7 thousand and over two almost 60 thousand. And those numbers are extremely high for a special. Those aren't too far behind like a linear in terms of dps so yeah this scene is the real deal and if you look at the total damage output of the weapon it holds 16 base reserves with double reserves it only goes up to 18 so only one per reserve which means overall we're gonna be doing almost 1.3 to all the way up to 1.5 with double reserves and with double reserves we'll be getting a total of five free bullets from triple tap so once again those numbers are 
right up there with like power weapons, right? And now if we change off a painted mag to assault mag, we'll get a faster rate of fire and only lose one bullet to the mag, which means over the mag we'll only proc triple tap twice. So it'll only be an eight mag. And looking at the change to the rate of fire, it's gonna be quite a bit faster. The two mags now take 11 seconds, but we're shooting two less shots. And the DPS now is 85.2 and 64.3 thousand, which is not only like up there with linears, it's actually higher than the best linear in the game. This is a special weapon and it's higher DPS than linears. And just comparing that to a few different special weapons to just show off like how much better it is than the average special. So first with a sniper, this one just has Whirlpool on it, which is only a little bit lower than Fireline. I didn't have anyone on to get a Fireline clip, but just for the ballpark of how close it is to the slug shotgun, doing one mag and two mag, it's gonna be a lot quicker than the shotgun. The two mag taking 7.1 seconds, which means DPS is under 60,000, then for 243.9, so really not even close to the DPS of the No Reprieve. And with the Cartesian, one of the highest DPS fusions in the game, look at that, two mags of 7 and 14. This one's gonna take quite a while. At a little over six seconds for the first mag. Then for the two mags, it's gonna be 13.5 seconds, which means DPS of 49 and 44.5 thousand. So once again, not even close to DPS of the no reprieve. So this slug shotgun is on a whole different level than you know your average special weapon. It really is a power weapon with surrounded proct. And on top of that, we could always throw in Anarchy for the classic combo, or even double slug plus Anarchy if you wanted to. I'm not going to show that off in this video because it's a little bit more advanced, but just with the no reprieve and the Anarchy versus a boss, the Anarchy should add roughly 20,000 DPS, making the full combo do over 100,000 DPS. Also for just general gameplay, I've been running it a lot with the Risk Runner. Risk Runner will carry your act clear, then you have the no reprieve for any major mini boss, whatever it is or even a boss fight if you can proc surrounded. Then you also have a linear if it's like a ranged boss. You could also fit this in very easily into like a solo lost sector build with the unstoppable shotgun. And that plus anarchy would be a pretty killer combo for all the champions and the boss. So overall, this shotgun is insanely good if you can proc surrounded for a boss fight, which is gonna be a lot more likely than you might suspect. There's a lot of bosses in the game that you can actually proc surrounded by just keeping things alive. There's also going to be a lot of boss fights where you just simply can't proc it and obviously in those situations it would not be nearly as good. So even though this has by far the best numbers in the game for any special right up there with the best power weapons, it is going to be somewhat situational and in the situations it does work, it's going to be one of the best picks in the entire game. But then in other situations it's going to fall off and just be a normal slug shotgun, which is still pretty good, but obviously not as good as we're showing off in this video. But even with all that being said, just in like general gameplay for like majors, mini bosses, champions, wherever it is, it's gonna be really, really good in all those different situations. It's gonna be very easy to have surrounded proc at all times if you're running surrounded spec. So overall, this is definitely one of the best shotguns in the entire game right now and definitely 100% worth your time to craft once you get the five red boxes of the weapon. And yeah, I think that's me it for the commentary for this video. Just a little bit of gameplay left from the catch crash. Like usual, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.